the lab would like to demonstrate to you some of the logistics ground technologies that we've been working with, uh, including two autonomous systems and tactical telemedicine, the enhanced combat casualty care system specifically. If you look behind me to your right, you can see a squad from 3-6 on patrol. They're gonna, they're gonna begin movement across this linear danger area with the ground unmanned support surrogate system, or GUS. GUS is capable of operating in four different modes. It has an autonomous waypoint mode where it basically uses GPS technology to follow a predetermined route via waypoints. It operates in a follow me autonomous mode where a tactical, tactical robotic controller being held by one of the Marines acts as a beacon. That Marine is then followed by the GUS. Wherever he goes, it goes. Wherever he stops, it stops. Additionally, it has the teleop mode, which is the mode that it's in right now. The Marine with the tactical robotic controller is teleoping. And finally, At this time, we're demonstrating an enemy LPOP has observed the squad crossing the road. The squad is conducting immediate action. They've been struck by mortars and machine gun fire, and they've assessed the point man as an urgent casualty. We're going to see Gus move up into position. The stretcher will be offloaded as the corpsman treats the casualty. Now, the convoy that you're about to see is not a typical convoy. The first two MTVRs, or seven-ton Oshkosh vehicles, are being operated completely autonomously. They use similar LIDAR and radar technology to the GUS, both systems, and they're capable of building a perception map of their surroundings. So not only do they follow waypoints or a beacon, but they're capable of sensing obstacles, stationary, moving, and adjusting their course based on those obstacles. GUS will be operated in manual mode, when the casualty is on it. We're using a dummy for safety's sake, but uh, we, we think conceptually that's how we would utilize this vehicle.